Handles, homemade ice cream, hosting a fundraiser for the family of a Carlsbad mother. She was killed while riding her bike with her baby. CBS 8's Jeff Zevley tells us how the proceeds will help the victim's firefighter husband, who is now a single parent. The tragedy that occurred at this intersection in August may have happened here in Carlsbad, but the family who lost so much is hoping there are lessons to be learned by every San Diegan. She was just a lover. She loved people. She loved life. She loved our family. Christine Embry was on a neighborhood bike ride with her daughter Delilah and never came home to her husband and firefighter Bob Embry. Oh, I cry every day. Absolutely. There's not a day that's gone by that I don't cry. I miss my wife tremendously. Uh, she was my best friend. It happened at this four-way stop. Although the crash is still under investigation, police say the driver of the SUV was not under the influence of alcohol. And how Delilah survived, as some people calling her a miracle baby. The fact that Christine got sucked under the vehicle and Delilah's car seat snapped off and got thrown, and she landed face up, Without a scratch to her, not a scratch to the helmet, not a scratch to the seat. She is an absolute miracle. Within a two week stretch, Carlsbad had two fatal bike crashes, which led to a public safety campaign. We have a little bumper sticker that says slow down, save lives. It's all about public safety. Bob hopes the city will make traffic calming changes, such as speed humps and roundabouts, and he's received support from cycling advocates. Drivers don't want to hit us. When we're out there on our bike, they'll do anything they can to avoid hitting us. Along with teaching safety classes for the San Diego County Bicycle Coalition, Pete Pensiers has reviewed hundreds of collisions between cars and bikes. The drivers who hit cyclists always said one of two things. They said, I never saw him, or I didn't see him in time to avoid him. Handel's Homemade Ice Cream in Carlsbad is hosting a memorial fundraiser for the Embry family. We heard about what happened, and this was just someone in our community that was suffering, and we have a way to help. On Tuesday, between 11 a.m. and 10 p.m., every dollar you spend will fund Delilah's future. All of the proceeds of that day are going to the family. This was something that was engineered by our owners, and that was the commitment. Bob says he never asked for Handel's help. Through tragedy, you're seeing people step forward and you really see the good in, in mankind and the good in humanity and I'm very thankful of that. This firefighter says his wife would want two things, take care of her baby and prevent future tragedies. So my goal is with her loss of life that we can save one other, you know? I think that that would make her happy and that would put a smile on her face. Delilah, look, ice cream. Something tells me this would too. <laughs> What do we think? Seeing Delilah's first taste of ice cream. It's a winner. Yeah, she likes it. In the Zevely zone. She knows just what to do. Jeff Zevely. Delicious. CBS 8.